even when I write in my mother tongue, I'm always trying to question the boundaries of the language that are given to me, because I'm not happy with them. To me, language is a, is a passion. It's not an instrument. It's how I breathe. It's how I exist. So in the Turkish language, you might be familiar with this story, we have Turkified our language. As you know, this was once upon a time a multi-ethnic, multilingual, multi-religious empire. As a result, when you look at the Ottoman language, of course, the syntax is Turkish, but within the vocabulary, there were words from Turkish, um, lots of words from Arabic, Persian, but also words from Armenian, Ladino, Greek. So all of those words were taken out as the language was Turkified. If you look at an Ottoman dictionary, it is quite thick. A modern Turkish dictionary is almost half the size. Around 45% of the words are gone. As a writer, I can say yellow in Turkish and I can say red, but the shades in between, I'm not able to say them because they used to come from Persian. And I've always resisted that, which people never understood because if you're a progressive person, if you're a liberal, why should you be interested in old words? That's the mentality in Turkey. Whereas for me, there's no old words, there's no new words, they're just words. And it should be organic, open-ended. We need all, all those words, we need nuances. So I've always tried to fight back against that duality in my writing. But in a, in a nutshell, when I write in English, I, I, I love it when people say chutzpah, or when they say kismet, and nobody says, wait a minute, that's a Jewish word, or that's an Arabic word, let's take it out, because they're not English enough. Nobody says that, it's part of the English language. That's how I approach language, you know, it's all, all should be, there should be a continuity. Um, I realized over time, if I'm writing about melancholy, sadness, longing, I find it easier to express that in Turkish, whereas definitely humor, satire, irony is much easier in English.